This is a prep school that caters for an incredibly wide diverse range of pupils from all kinds of different backgrounds. We make sure that if a child is coming in at the pre-prep that everything is on that slightly smaller scale. It's slightly more family orientated. The whole thing is just that little bit more relaxed. I made loads of friends really quickly and my teacher was really, really nice. We're not an academically selective school, but we do have the full range of children, including the very brightest, who do go on to win scholarships to all the major public schools. But we also cater for children who have strength in other areas. We recognise that children have gifts and talents in all kinds of areas. The whole idea of it is to kind of learn things, try things you've never tried before, learn things you've never learnt before. I think often it's easy to underestimate how sophisticated a curriculum is, especially at the early years, and the enormous amount of hard work and preparation that goes in to any structured learning activity. We are not only following the latest trends in academic development, but we are leading them. After my, the recent scholarship I took, I started doing Greek, and I never thought I would ever try Greek. So that's been a really good experience. When you say, you know, you can aim to achieve things, the teachers will help you get to their aim. You've got different sets, so everyone's at their own ability, everyone's with people their own ability, so you're never kind of out of your depth, they're always going at your pace. Sometimes if we get things wrong, our teacher will just say, all right, never mind, try again, and you might get it right this time. All children have got a creative spark in them, and it's up to us as a school to draw that out of them. For some children, it's music, for some it's visual arts, for some it's drama, for some it's design technology, designing and building things. And we have real strength in those areas. We've got some facilities that some senior schools would be proud of. And more importantly, we've got the expertise and the enthusiasm of the teachers to really inspire those children. I think we have very uh, strong elements of uh, creativity here at Bilton Grange. Uh, the Design Technology Centre is very well resourced. We work very hard to make sure we have sort of the cutting edge facilities. Today we went to make a picture using leaves, grass and flowers. The children are outdoors every single day doing some kind of sport or activities. Of course we recognise that not every child is a first team major games player, which is why we have the alternative games programme, which I think is unique in the prep school world, that can cater for all kinds of different sporting interests. The most important thing is that they enjoy it so we try to make it fun. It's not just about competitiveness, it's about fun. The activities that are on offer, there's so many, like out of school, climbing and sailing. We do fencing, we do horse riding, we do polo. We have a 25 metre pool here and they all get to do a swimming lesson at least once a week. We've got all this woodland space. Uh, where the children can roam, explore, set up dens. They've been taken for overnight camping. It's absolutely incredible. We get to come outside and play in the wild gardens and plant seeds or pick seeds in the organic gardens. I think Built and Grange is a very much a family school and I think the, the staff work hard to ensure that the children are looked after, cared for as an individual. I think everybody is just so nice. I mean, it's just part of being at Burton Grange. Everybody is naturally welcoming and nice to you. Boarding is really central to Burton Grange. Although a large number of our children are day children, a lot of those children actually, they fall into boarding because it's fun, it's something that they want to do. What we offer is something which is very flexible to meet the needs of parents. So often children will come and they will start boarding with us just on an occasional basis, just for the odd night, and they treat it a bit like a sleepover with their friends. Say I do a Thursday and a Friday usually, and they're really good fun because it's not like full boarding life, but you still get your own bed, your own bedding, you get to choose what you do in the evening, it's really good fun. They have activities that go on all the way to bedtime that the day children can stay to as well. The day children can stay for meals, which means that it's, all the children are sort of integrated as one. Whatever their interests, whatever the pursuits that they want to undertake, I know that Bilton Grange is a place where they can follow their dreams. Everyone panics on their first day, but because of the amazing, welcoming atmosphere there is here, there's no need to worry. The teachers are really nice, so don't worry. You'll be fine. You should really come to the school, and it's really good. Yeah.